What's up you guys and welcome back to our channel. Guess what week it is? It is wedding week. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe our wedding is in like four days, three days. Today's Tuesday. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to just take the camera along with me this week. Um, stress has not set in. I hope it doesn't. We have a lot to do, yes, but with prioritizing and with good organization skills, I don't think we will get like crazy stressed. But I thought it'd be kind of fun to take you along for the journey, kind of just share little clips here and there, what we're doing, how we're prepping. There is a lot to prep and a lot to, I guess I shouldn't say prep, but like set out, decorate, put together this week. We do have a ton of like, the major decorations done we have like the venue basically done we have all the minor little crafts done bar things done table things are going to be worked on this week all my bridesmaids will be here late tomorrow night and the following day so wednesday night and thursday night a couple show up on friday um, we have nail appointments we're doing lunch we're doing all the flower arrangements we're doing all the setup we're gonna have like a fun little get together or get ready together on Saturday. I have an amazing videographer that will be documenting the entire wedding day. So I will not be personally vlogging that because I will be totally enjoying the entire day. But I thought, why not carry my camera along with me for the entire week and just kind of take clips of what we're doing. And so that's exactly what you can expect from this vlog. I hope you enjoy it. If you have been following along on our wedding prep journey, it is quickly coming to an end, but I appreciate you following us. Be sure to hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe if you wanna follow along on our post-wedding journey and all things health and fitness and travel and just life. I totally have loved getting to know you guys and I'm so excited to continue this journey together. Stay tuned for the week of the wedding. We are at my parents' house in the, I guess you could call it like the decoration room where we've kind of just been accumulating all the decorations for the wedding. So I thought that it'd be kind of cool to show you some of these things. Obviously our videographer on the day is going to do a fabulous job highlighting all of this, but I wanted to show you some of the really cool little highlight pieces that we have purchased or accumulated or been allowed to borrow I guess I should say from family so as you guys know at this point like our colors are white gray like silver and lots of greenery so in this room we have <laughs> I'm looking at the table in front of me we have like tons of vases tons of silver things um, and a couple of crafts that we've already started and a lot of little things that I've started ordering online so I thought that I would share with you um, some of the stuff and I will link I will do my best to link all the Etsy shops all of the websites and everything that we've been purchasing from like all these things from in the comments below so if you're planning a wedding or if you're just interested in like Etsy shops um, look in the comments below okay so this has to be one of my favorite things when you arrive at our wedding there's gonna be like this giant archway that you walk through and then there's gonna be photos of Jacob and I. Now on our wedding day, it's actually our 11 year anniversary. So leading up to like the guest book table, we have photos from every single year that we are that we have been dating, starting with this gem. So they're gonna be like these giant photos. This is the very first year that we were dating. This is actually the reason we started dating. Jacob asked me to a homecoming dance and this is at that homecoming dance. How cool is that? So that's the very first one. I won't show all of them, but then this is gonna be the very last one. It's the biggest one. Um, so this is like our engagement photo, but <laughs> they're huge. But as you can see, like look at that, 11 years difference. How crazy is that? So everything we're doing is like very, I, sh I guess I'd say elegant, like whites and blacks and silvers and clear and all of that very pretty stuff. Um, a lot of like the vases and stuff on our tables will just be things like this. So just those speckled, freckled little silver votives. Um, I found a lot of stuff in my house that we actually pulled too. So like things like this, um, I need to dust everything off still, but things like this will be used as just little accents. Every single table is gonna be a little bit different but in the same color scheme. I didn't want everything to look identical, so I'm super excited to see it all come together. My aunt let us borrow these. 
she has a set of three and they're all different heights so these will be used somewhere in the wedding i'm thinking like near the bar or near the cake or food or something like that but i love them they're also that freckled silver so pretty and then we just have a bunch of little things as well so things like this that will just be used as extra decorations um, things like this so anything with like that frosty or that gray or that silver like we are pulling it all and collecting everything it's pretty cool to see it all like come together from different places and how they are gonna look together and of course we have some super simple things I got a lot off Amazon as well so we have like these little chalkboards that we'll use for things um, that's off Amazon I got this I think off Amazon as well just says here comes the bride I have a baby cousin um, he's like one and a half he'll be two in January He's one of our ring bears, and so our 10-year-old ring bear will hold the rings, and then the one-and-a-half-year-old will hold this because, who knows, he might just sit on the floor and cry, and that's totally okay. <laughs> I got this at Hobby Lobby, so this will go on the gift table. Super cute little thing. Um, we have tons and tons of candle holders, tons of vases, um, tons of ornaments, as I'm sure you can see in the background. We have lots of Christmas decorations. Our Christmas colors are of course silver gray white so i pulled all our christmas decorations those will be added into like floral arrangements to give it some sparkle and some white and some color pop um i did make something super cool for my bridesmaids so this video will be going live like probably around the wedding i'm not gonna say i don't know exactly when because i don't want to give all of this away but um, I do have some stuff for my bridesmaids that I will keep a secret and do its own video on as well as our groomsmen gifts And I'm super excited about that But I do have some things like some like special little detailed things that I will show you So I ordered this off Etsy as well. This is just our ring box So our initials are actually going to be the same once we get married JMN so it was pretty cool that we were able to get that monogrammed just a super cute little box um, with lacing on the inside and then it says I do at the top so I absolutely love this little ring box we got that off Etsy I will link it down below something super special that I'm doing my grandpa passed away a couple years ago so I am taking this tiny little charm and it's little, so tiny um, and it's just like a jeweled charm and I will be placing a little picture of him in that to attach to my bouquet so he'll be with me as I walk down the aisle. Um, just something tiny and little, you know. Let's see what this is. I have so many things that have just come over time. Ooh, this is my garter. So I have the garter for me as well as the garter, that's super bright, that I will be tossing. They're both just lace. And I got those off Etsy as well, so love those. Everything is like super elegant, super white, super, super pretty in my opinion. Our guest book I used, um, gosh, what did I use? I think it was like, I think it's on the back, Shutterfly. And I took all of our engagement photos and I put them in this book and it just says, it's super shiny, our guest book. And then it has blank pages with like room to sign. So I thought that would be really cool to like look back on and it's something we'll actually look at rather than just a book full of names. We have our, I believe these are our vow books. Super simple, just something really little and dainty. Um, just so we have something to read off of and something for photos. So this says hers, her vows. And then there's also one that says his vows. This is from lovestrucklettering.com. Got it on Etsy. Super cute. I love those. Something we need to work on, writing those vows. This is super delicate and exactly what I envisioned for our cake topper. So we wanted our cake topper to not be like the little bride and the little groom. So what we went with is a custom wood cutout and it just says Mr. and Mrs. Newton. It turned out exactly how I wanted. So, the goal is to not break this before the wedding. 
And here we have something that I've seen a lot of brides doing as well and I wanted to for sure do this. Our photographer is amazing um, and she wants to do some detailed shooting. So we have this hanger. This is obviously the back because it's reversed in the camera. This is the front. But it has our wedding date and it says Mrs. Newton and this is just made out of like aluminum which is pretty cool because I used to teach jewelry and we had our students do things like this. So super cute. I love it but that's my wedding dress hanger. These are some of the things that we're gonna be adding into our floral arrangements. Like these are all Christmas things, like things that you put in your Christmas tree, which I will repurpose and use in my Christmas tree this year. But how fun are those? Like super sparkly, some of them are white, like that pearly, um, some are just shiny gray, some are sparkly gray, and those will just be added in for extra color, I guess, in our greenery and our flower arrangements. We're gonna have so many flowers. Something else that we did is we got tons, like literally tons of flip-flops. And the reason, the reason we did that is so that people could dance and not feel like they had to wear their heels. We got this fun little sign, I believe it was just off Amazon, um, it's still in the wrapper, but it says, kick off your heels, dancing shoes, compliments of the bride and groom. So we have tons of dancing shoes or flip-flops so girls don't have to be in their heels. I found this bad boy at Hobby Lobby, um, something that we'll be able to use in our house but also like, look at that gray. I love it. Like I am obsessed with this. So this will just be added decoration somewhere on the day of the wedding. I really need to like sit down and decide where all these decorations are going. But I'm like on a mission to find all these wedding things that we can use in our house later down the road. So it's not just like spending all this money and then having it sit in storage. These are our flower girl baskets. I haven't unwrapped them yet, but I also found these on Amazon. So just be super smart when you are starting to get these things. Like a lot of this stuff came from Amazon, a lot like all the vases and stuff we ordered off Amazon. Um, these came off Amazon. A lot of things came from Etsy. There are so many shops out there that are like very, very helpful and so creative and so cute. So like I said, I'll link as much as I can down below, but super cute little tiny flower girl baskets. Now these we did get off Etsy. Um, so we have two ring bears. They're gonna have shirts as well, but we got them these cool little stunna shades and they just say ring security on the side. How adorable is that? So I'm actually, I have my own shirt shop, which is how I made this. Um, I'm gonna make them little shirts that are white and in black it'll say ring security as well, which will be adorable. So yeah, that's some of the decorations. Hopefully um, that makes you excited because I am so excited for this all to come together. But these are just a lot of the things that I've been accumulating and meaning to show you. I've been getting so many questions about like where I'm finding things, how expensive it was, like all of that. So like I said, I will leave all the links in the description down below so that you can check out the Etsy stores and stuff like that. Oh, something else that I bought off Amazon. Look how cool those are. They are light up lettering. Jacob and I, like I said, will have the same initials. So I got JMN and these will go around the bar, I believe. And they will just light up. These are super affordable too. I want to say they were like 10 or $12 a piece. And we can, of course, use them in our house again. So that was one last thing I wanted to show you, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I am so excited for you to see our official wedding video. We are getting down to the final few days. I will be sure to post everything as soon as I can, but stay tuned. For you, and I will be for.
life I give you my soul And I know that you keep it safe Forever, for all future days Wherever you go Just hold on, say 